Good morning, my name is Lindo and this is the Tampa Food Show. I'm with my cousin Alex over here and we're going to be exploring a few restaurants in Tampa. Now right now we're specifically near, uh, we're in Brandon, a specific strip here, so we can knock out a few local restaurants at a time rather than being scattered all over the place. So what do you think so far? Uh, so far we're going to be doing, this is going to be our first one. We are at the Sa Ri Won Korean Barbecue and Sushi mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to be trying the best dish they have and giving our thoughts on it. That is correct. Let's go. So right now we actually got the bulgogi beef. Which and we're actually, we will be cooking. Yes, he's so excited that he interrupted me. I was gonna say the same thing. So right. <laughs> we're gonna grill it here and we're gonna get rice and six side dishes. Where are they? Yes, um, sort of vegetables, spinach. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, pickled peppers, stuff like that for the mm -hmm. whole table. Easy. So right now we're just waiting for that. Yes. Cool, so we actually just got the bulgogi beef and we're gonna cook it yes. onto this grill right here. What do you think so far? Uh, very, very interesting. Here we have some raw meat. Right there. It right there. Ooh, listen to that, that's hot. Super. Okay. That's, that's it. it looks like it's marinated quite well too because the, well, so far my initial impression is that it's pretty good because I mean, the guy took about like, what, 15, 10, 15 minutes? 10, 15 minutes just to bring us beef. I mean, and we're cooking it. So it kind of shows to me that, you know, they're taking their time to marinate and it's not just there in the fridge. This is gonna be good. What do you well, think about it? It was so sweet, nice and chewy, cooked perfectly by me. Mm -hmm. Uh, and just, it was, it was marinated so perfectly. You can mm -hmm. tell they took their time. It was, it's so good. It's really Very good. moist. That's what I like about it the yes. most. Extremely moist. Yes. Now, so worth it. obviously these side dishes here are going to be more interesting. Not more interesting, but they're, we have more options here. So right now we took all the side dishes and put them on here. We're going to try it with the actual rice. Yes. And we'll actually try it at the same time. You're going to try it with the rice, yeah? Yep. Ready? It's like a typical, it's a little spicy. Just a little, no, just a hint. Not at all. No? For me, just a hint. This is an unknown item. Yeah. Don't know how I feel about it. Acquired nope. taste. That's an acquired taste right there. That is very strong. It's strong. Very strong. Wow. It tastes like a super, th like a kimchi turned into a cucumber. Yeah. What next? The actual kimchi is next. Kimchi I don't mind. Just because it's so thin, it's almost like lettuce. Yeah. I don't mind it. I need to have it with something. I can't have it by itself. Mm. This right here is a fish cake. Interesting, I don't like fish. I like that one. Not that bad, actually. I like that one better. Just finished, yes. and what did you think about it? I thought it was really good. I didn't know what to expect, never tried Korean food, but mm -hmm. it was really good. It was pretty true to flavors. I wouldn't uh, know the difference if I was in Korea or America just because it tasted so, so good. Obviously the highlight was the bulgogi. Bulgogi was so moist so and that flavor, it did have more of a citrus um, citrus and um, soy sauce type yeah, of flavor. It did, it did. So really did like that. Now we're going to obviously hit up another place. So are you excited about that? Yeah, let's see where, let's see where our taste buds bring us. Let's go. this place so far it's a Vietnamese restaurant I've never, never had Vietnamese food so I don't know what to expect so I've never been to Vietnam he's never been there either and so this is gonna be our first time having Vietnamese food yep. I have no idea what to expect I don't know what to expect either okay so I, I, really don't. <laughs> I, I think the last thing I had was like a like a spring roll that was the only thing I had that counts um, right 
it technically it counts. It doesn't count, it doesn't count. Doesn't okay, so let's go. This is the entrance or the back door? I think the most popular dish might be like a soup dish. It's called pho, but obviously we're going to ask and get um, the most popular dish. Okay. Alright, so we got the most popular dish here. It is the pho and wow, that's actually quite firm. Oh, it's more difficult than I thought. Yeah. Okay. I look at that. That is. Have you ever had this type of noodle? No. This is beef, right? Or meatball. Meatball. So we just got the regular size and this still looks massive. This massive. looks almost like if we got the super size. Yeah, I thought that would have been the super size. Exactly. So we got three little bowls. We have, I don't think we're gonna finish it all, to be honest. We may not. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Going straight for the noodles. Yeah. It's such a unique flavor that I, I'm having trouble verbally explaining the taste right now. I've never seen something like it. Never. Okay, let's start off with texture. How about that? Texture. Okay, so the weird thing is there's two different noodles. The first noodle is nice and smooth, but then there's more of a Ragged noodle. Let me see that one. Ragged noodle. Okay, just take it. Take okay. it. This is the raggedy noodle. Is it clear? It's just jumbled. With this the is of yeah. This is the raggedy noodle. What is this? I mean, obviously you probably don't know, but you're saying that. You need to try it though. I already tried it. Oh yeah, yours had it. Yeah. So I think the thing that makes this entire thing is the broth. Because in noodles, I'm tasting that same broth. Obviously, for obviously reasons. It's very strong. It's, exactly. It's very strong to where when I'm having the noodles by itself without uh, having it with the uh, broth itself, I'm having that strong fish oil. Um, so I think, it, I, think, I think it's pretty good. We're finished. What did you think about it? Interesting. Probably the most interesting soup I've ever tasted. The noodles were good. Mm -hmm. Broth was okay. A little too fishy for me though. I don't mm -hmm. like fish. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought the meat in it was really good. Um, the noodles was definitely interesting. I like the noodles the most. Uh, personally, it's not my favorite simply because uh, I, I'm not big on the fish broth. Um, there was a lot of fish broth. Obviously, we had the uh, fish balls as well. And just for me, um, I think if you're gonna go to a Vietnamese place, I think it's pretty good because it tastes like it doesn't taste dumb. Like it tastes like you have but that there fish. There was that it, other noodle in there that kind of messed up the, the texture of it. I didn't. Like. But that's part of the style. That's part. Yeah, I, know. I appreciate the fact that they're doing the strong fish oil. That they're doing that um, uh, type of uh, noodle. noodle because they're, it, it shows that they're not afraid to actually just give us what they actually make rather than trying to go and make it all Americanized. So even though I'm not big on it because it does have fish, I do very much appreciate the fact that they gave us a pretty, I, I can't fully say that because I haven't been to Vietnam, but it taste wise, it, it doesn't taste Americanized, I should say. It doesn't taste watered down, basically. So anyways, that's about it right now. And we're gonna go to another place. Are you excited about that? Yes, let's see where our taste buds take us once again. Let's go. Alright, we're booking out. We're booking out? Booking out? <laughs> <laughs> so what place do you think we'll go to next? Uh, well this is the, what, the Hawaiian place or the... Um, there's supposed to be like a Cajun place here. Maybe uh, Asian fusion with Hawaiian as well. It's super hot. I'm about right. to melt. I asked, I asked this no, guy I mean... if it was raining and he, he confirmed that it was actually sweat drops. That is not a good sign. And I don't remember the last time that has ever happened to me. Um, but regardless, the place we're gonna go to is across the street. Oh my goodness, I'm just, ugh, I feel disgusting. I don't disgusting. even know if I can make it across the street. I'm yeah. gonna die. Yeah, it's like 85 degrees and you have a sweater. So we are here at Loi Thai, okay? Have you ever had Thai food? Yes. 
Okay, in your experience, how has it been? Uh, it's been pretty good. I have a pad thai. Of course, we're going to ask them what's the most popular and yes. get it. I'm hoping that their most popular is going to be pad thai. Um, but if, if it's not, then we're just going to go with whatever their most but popular overall, is. But overall, you enjoyed it. I don't like the spiciness. Usually with, when, when it comes to Thai food, I'm like, just remove the spiciness. I myself I like have never had Thai food. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that I will like what I taste here. Let's find out. Yes. Interesting. Excuse me. Can we get a booth? You want a booth? Yes. yes. Thank you. Air conditioner inside is very good. So initial impression is just amazing right now. Um, I'm just drenched. 10 out of 10 just based on the air conditioner. I'm so sweaty right now. I'm considering just to eat my pad thai, assume that I'll get just standing up. I don't even want to sit here and have my body just, ugh, I don't even want to think about it. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to take a seat. So I'll do it now and just get over with. I'm not putting my back, I'm not laying my back there. It's just, just not. Do it, just do it. No, no. No, I know you're stronger than me, but come on now. It'll be okay. Uh, that's order. Alright, so we actually just got the drunken duck right here and I have the menu here It says that it's a spicy rice noodle served with crispy duck But they did say that it's mildly spicy, which is a good thing. I'm not a big fan of spice uh, But they do have some spices yes, here. Yes, should we so indulge? Should we be so inclined as to burn our mouths? Uh, yes, <laughs> so we got This is duck and then also this type of noodle is it? Okay. We got the rice noodle and the duck. Yes. See how it is. Do you have duck on you? Yeah, uh, I have everything. <laughs> okay. It might sound weird, but the flavor is quite thick. It has Very thick, thick flavors. Almost, it's sweet. I, I, I taste a sweetness to it, like maybe like honey or... Um, do you taste that as well? Or? It's really good though. Mm -hmm. It's really good. You want to try it with the spice? Yeah, let's just take one. Okay, one. I can't do that. I, I'm not big on uh, spicy food. Okay, so it's spicy. But the <laughs> He's fish like, oil. <laughs> it's the it's spicy. fish oil. I'm not big on because I don't like fish too much. Mm. But the kick it oh, gives. Because it's it, integrated with fish yeah. oil. But the kick it gives is not bad. It's actually really good. I'm really, again, I'm really liking the noodle because. Well, you are a noodle person. I'm a noodle person. I also like rice. But. <laughs> <laughs> but it is very thick and, and that's very odd because I've never had that unless like maybe you're having pancake and you have the thick syrup. I guess, it. but... But for a noodle you to really have something... You, could, you really think you could compare that to, to syrup No, abso ab absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just saying that that's... What other thick substance do I know of, especially for an, an actual meal? So I think it's really good. The, the sweetness, I think, complements it. Definitely does. Definitely mm -hmm. does. And then that... That duck is really good. This is your first time having duck, it is isn't it? my first time having duck. Yes, it is. Now, what, what do you feel is the difference between duck and chicken? First of for all... For me, the reason I ask, for me, they're almost the same. If they said this is chicken, I would say, okay. I can see that. I can see that. I guess, uh, first of all, the, the consistency, it's a lot more chewy than chicken, I find. Um, but taste-wise, it does taste pretty similar to chicken. Mm -hmm. ha had I not known that this was duck, I wouldn't be able to distinguish the two. Between two, okay. Yeah. But the subtlety of it makes you prone more to duck. Or no? I have to try more of it. Be j what I just mean because chicken is so versatile. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> just mean chicken is so versatile. Yes. I've only tried duck in this specific context. I mean, this dish, I need to see what other ways you can have duck. True, true. Before I can decide which one I would prefer. So we actually just finished now. Um, Alex, what did you think overall? Uh, I really, really like that. Really like it. It was nice and sweet. And the duck mm -hmm. was very reminiscent of chicken. Mm -hmm. A lot more than I thought it would be. So I really loved the duck. Wasn't it too dry? 
was not too no, bad. It was really good. I think overall it was pretty good. I, I think that it was good that we actually ordered one for both of us because I think if I just had it uh, just for myself, I wouldn't have been able to finish it just because for me personally, it was a little too sweet. I know that's how it's supposed to be, but I'm just not really used to having that sweetness. In terms of, of uh, balance between everything, I thought it was a mm -hmm. perfect balance. Good. Um, so that's pretty much it now. Are we going to hit up any other places? Most definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> We feel pretty full. We've already been to three places. This is our third one. And um, maybe we'll do some later on, but we'll see. Right now, we're just really trying to take in the air conditioner. My goodness, that was brutal. We were just walking outside, outside like for what, seven minutes? It felt it more like 30. No, it, I feel like it was one of those things where it just feels like a long time, but it's really not. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of scared to go back outside. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit uh, frightful. <laughs> So we're pretty much done today. It was very interesting because it was an Asian theme, even though we didn't unintentionally. really unintentionally. Unintentionally. So uh, this concludes the Tampa uh, food show as of now. Mm -hmm.